Here we are, here's Kelly Kidwana. This episode is for all the doll collectors among you, specifically the Disney Store doll collectors. Uh, as you know, I belong to this uh, uh, group as well, and I have something brand new today. A brand new toy just delivered from Sub Disney, the Disney Store, uh, straight to my home. It's the Disney uh, Store uh, Cinderella Deluxe Gift Set with um, her horse and her carriage and um, this set isn't, it's actually uh, not a new uh, brand, new thing that they do. Um, uh, the Disney Store uh, uh, has been releasing a Cinderella carriage set uh, pretty much every year for the past 10 years or so. Uh, always uh, on time for the holiday season, uh, but they always uh, changed it uh, a little bit um, every year. And what's new this year for the 2020 version is that it contains a walking horse, as the uh, box suggests. And uh, this is for the very first time. I um, I think they didn't have this um, yet. Uh, last year in 2019 so I decided to order this right away since you uh, uh, know that I not only love uh, the Disney Store dolls but also I, I love uh, model horses as well and so I thought this is the perfect time to finally get this set after I had been looking at it for years at the earlier versions and now it's uh, uh, finally here. Um, this is a huge box, as you can see. Um, got a photo here of the horse and the Disney Princess logo. Got the same on the top of the box, and also comes with a carrying handle. This is really a huge box. Uh, nice artwork on the sides as well. The clock that strikes uh, midnight, and here we have a and uh, uh, some artwork of Cinderella's castle. On the back of the box features the entire three-piece set uh, that contains the doll, the horse and the carriage. And I really like this piece of artwork here uh, of Cinderella dancing with Prince Charming. Uh, the retail price, as you can see here, uh, was $79.99, although I got an early Black Friday deal and it was 20% off. And uh, so uh, I only uh, paid uh, $59.99, after it was already, uh, there was also uh, another uh, $10 uh, discount already on top of the Black Friday deal. Uh, made in China. Uh, actually, if you uh, want to dig a little bit deeper on who made, who makes the uh, Disney Store dolls, it's actually not Disney themselves. They do not own any uh, toy factories. In fact, they contract everything out. As you uh, probably may have seen in an earlier episode about a Simba Plus that's made in Vietnam. Um, all of the dolls are made by a company that's called Sun Wing Ming Industrial Company Limited. And they, they reside in, uh, in Dongguan, in the Guangdong province in southern China. And that's the company that makes all the Disney Store dolls. So, without further ado, we open this box. Right now, I'm going to unbox this toy and, and of course, we will uh, see if and how this horse works. All right, just give you a first look at the whole set without the box. This looks amazing. I really, I really like the, the shimmering color of the carrier and the horse looks pretty movie accurate as well. But 
but uh, we, of course, we will take a closer look after I have unboxed this completely. Okay, so I've unboxed everything. That was quite a procedure, uh, making sure I do not uh, break anything during the process. But uh, here we are, and let's start with the uh, carrier first. This is Cinderella's pumpkin coat, as seen in the 1950s animated classic with the same name. Uh, it is just made in a light blue uh, plastic and has uh, pink and gold accents. Uh, I think this looks very nice, although it is plastic, it does look pretty uh, elegant and noble. And I really like um, the coloring on, on the wheels. Uh, these are multi-colored, it's like a green and a violet and uh, uh, mixed together. Very nice ornaments on the wheels. And what I noticed during the unboxing process is that the back part here comes off. Actually, uh, uh, luckily I didn't break it. It's supposed to come off, so you can have this either on or off the coat. And the doors are, of course, can be opened on both sides. Uh, take a look at the uh, pink curtains, very nice detail, and we have, of course, the Cinderella logo. This is uh, super nice. Uh, it reminds me of the coats that they have in the Magic Kingdom at uh, Walt Disney World. And the whole thing lights up. And you can find the arm switch and the battery compartment for that uh, below. As you can see, this comes off rather easily. Um, back to the batteries and lighting, you will need to, um, three AT13 button cells. They are already installed. Batteries are included. And you can find the on switch right here. So we'll press it. Uh, light comes on. Press again, light turns off. Now, now to the back of this coat while well, we are there. Um, before you start play with it or display, of course, um, do not forget that there is a try me switch uh, back here. It can be switched to either try me off or on. So if you set to try me, the light will uh, only uh, stay on for like 10 seconds or so and then it will itself uh, turn off. I'm gonna show you the try me mode. You can see it lights up very nicely through the transparent plastic and that's already it. It goes off after like 10 seconds so uh, if you uh, turn it to on. I notice the light will stay on longer, but it will eventually shut off too. So after like uh, two or three minutes, I notice during the unboxing process. Uh, let me turn it on for you again so it can stay on during the video so you can uh, get an idea how long it will take. There we go. And with the coat now ready and lit up, we can uh, bring in the horse. The horse will connect using these two golden ropes that are attached to the coat. And bring in the horse here. Um, quick question for you, a little quiz. What is the name of Cinderella's horse without googling it, without looking on Wikipedia? I'll tell you later. Um, here we've got this royal steed. Comes with the pink feather, uh, which is actually uh, uh, more like a piece of uh, rubber, something which feels like between rubber and plastic. 
that's not really a feather, it's molded. And the face looks very movie accurate. And the golden tack can be uh, removed entirely. You can see uh, under, uh, underneath this tin, you can uh, loosen this up and remove if needed. The same thing goes also for this part of the tack that will be uh, connected to the coat. Well, let's look at the horse um, some more. You can see it's got these uh, uh, violet hooves. And of course the adorable face. And I noticed the, the hair was quite wild when I unboxed it, so I made it wet a little bit and gave it some tender loving care, although uh, uh, this feels pretty cheap. The, the uh, hair of the tail and the mane, so uh, it's not really brushable, at least uh, not many times. I noticed already uh, some of the hair was falling out. However, what is nice is that it is uh, uh, the mane has some uh, uh, blue streaks in it. It's, uh, it's a combination of white and blue. <clears throat> some blue shimmering through. Uh, you can see it depending on the lighting. Uh, it's just really nice. And now I even managed to the tail to stay uh, rather nice. Uh, the, the hairs were actually all over the horse's body. Uh, it definitely makes a, a rather cheap impression. It it's, um, uh, feels uh, rather flimsy and the plastic does feel relatively cheap. Uh, you can see on the right hand side they covered the screw holes. Well at least they covered them, but they're still pretty visible as um, you can see the construction quality isn't really uh, good. It's not, it's not really a uh, snug, not really even. That's too bad for a Disney product. Uh, the coat uh, in comparison looks uh, rather nice, even though it's the same material. Uh, they uh, put in a lot more effort into the coat. Um, as we saw on the packaging, the horse is supposed to walk and that happens uh, by the power of two AA batteries that go into its belly. Here you will need a screwdriver and remove um, this tack, at least uh, in parts, so you can access the battery compartment. Batteries are included, comes with two AA's, but I would recommend to uh, replace them if you uh, want to give this to a child to uh, actually play with it. So replace the batteries before you start playing to make sure you have a full powerful set of batteries. It looks like they made the batteries in Dongguan as well, in the neighborhood. So, what I immediately noticed is that this only uh, takes two AA batteries and I know from most Barbie horses and the uh, walking spirit here, the really big bulky spirit uh, figure that you can see uh, here on myself, this takes four AA batteries and Barbie horses usually take uh, four batteries as well. That means uh, this cheap Disney horse probably only has half of the power than a Barbie horse. And it's supposed to pull a carriage. So we will see if this actually uh, will work out or if Disney decided to go on the cheap. Um, let's attach the horse. Oh, this is rather easy. To, uh, them, these ropes just uh, click into place. But of course, not that easy if you have really big claws. Okay, so we've got the carriage ready, we've got the horse ready, uh, we've got the horse attached to the carriage. Now we only need the main protagonist and this is our Cinderella uh, doll that came included with the uh, set. This is her uh, in her traditional hairstyle, her updo is really nice. He has the blue headband, 
and uh, but uh, the hairs almost uh, uh, on the front part uh, almost uh, cover her eyes so these are a little bit uh, they're made a little bit too big almost and I noticed they also lose, used a lot of glue you can see her side bangs here and she's got her uh, black choker and her dress actually with three uh, gemstones on her breast that looks very nice the dress is very glittery and she does wear um, white gloves that go up all the way um, over the elbow you can of course remove these and uh, take a look at her articulation she's articulated at the uh, neck at the shoulders at the elbows at the wrists and also of course at the hips and the knees uh, she has the rubbery style legs complete with glass slippers by the way very nice detail uh, you can also see her dress is um, uh, a double layer with this uh, very fine outer layer mesh like material and then uh, her traditional blue uh, dress uh, the glitter gets onto your hands well very easily so uh, keep that in mind so to me it, uh, this will definitely uh, be a display piece and not something that I uh, play with but of course uh, if you have kids that uh, uh, like to play with with this set I can't blame them it's a really nice set but keep in mind the glitter will be all over um, the, uh, let's take a look at Cinderella from the back uh, the dress is secured with a velcro you can take it off completely uh, so they will get uh, dirty uh, this will be uh, really easy and now I think Cinderella is ready for her big night and we want to put her into the coat uh, it's a little bit the uh, doors are quite large but um, when you close them you have to uh, make sure they shut completely uh, this is a little bit um, uh, tricky to do since the plastic doesn't always align properly but it is it is possible uh, just uh, take some care and make sure you do not break anything so we, we want to see if we can fit Cinderella in here and of course that uh, turn on uh, the lighting again there we go now the box claims that it has space for two and we want to see I can already see that it is not easy to get the doll inside since it's really really tight it's not much space and by the time you manage it you'll have the glitter all over okay so I managed to get Cinderella um, seated into her carriage but the design team at the Disney store definitely should have taken much much more care when assessing the proportions and the measurements so I wonder if they actually tried to fit it all inside because take a look the only way to fit her in there is with her head sticking out the back uh, window and this definitely looks very weird so it's, her legs are too long respectively the coat is too small uh, to uh, properly fit her inside so this this is a, quite a big of a, of a disappointment and now we know that the claim that the coat is able to fit two dolls um, this definitely cannot work out because Cinderella already has to sit in the middle to relative to fit in relatively well more or less and I tried to fit her prints inside as well but it's definitely not possible. Um, I'm going to show you uh, the maximum I was able to do was was this. He only fits like halfway into the door. So what I'm going to do is I'll definitely um, 
use this as a display piece and put the prints uh, next to the coat awaiting Cinderella to uh, get off at the ball like this. I mean this will look very, very nice but it's definitely not possible to fit the prints inside with her as well. So with that being said, close the door, with that being said we want to look at the uh, uh, walking function that they advertised on the box as well. Uh, remember we've got uh, fresh batteries in the horse and I want to see how well that works. You can find the button to activate the walking function here on uh, the chest of the horse. So we press that and see what's going to happen. to stop this because uh, the horse will keep on uh, walking uh, until you actually uh, press the button again to stop it. And you have seen, uh, it's, it's what I already suspected. There's only two AA batteries in there. That means it has half the power of a standard Barbie horse. And there's such a big, relatively heavy coat behind it, so it is uh, it's almost unable to pull it because the motor in here is really, really cheap. You can also uh, guess this by the uh, loud noise it makes that they use the cheapest possible motor they could get in uh, China, uh, which is too bad. Um, if it was able to walk like um, uh, my spirit model behind here, behind me here, then it would be a lot better. So if they only would have invested a little bit more into the horse, uh, make it maybe like a, a five dollars uh, more expensive, get a better motor and uh, design it a little bit uh, bigger, then it would be much, much better than this. Uh, uh, let's uh, show it to you again. This is a really weak motor. But what I do, uh, what I do applaud is that they um, actually uh, went with a different mechanism, so it doesn't have uh, knee points, uh, not on the, uh, neither on the front legs and uh, nor on the back, back legs. So this is different than the spirit behind me. Um, it's it's uh, it's much less complicated, of course, also cheaper. So okay. Um, I think for a display piece this is rather nice, but um, the functions that are advertised, that it seats two dolls and that the horse, um, well of course the horse does walk, but it is hardly able to uh, pull the carriage and uh, uh, much less so if you have a uh, carpet floor at home. Uh, you really uh, can only operate this on a really flat and stable surface uh, like my uh, wooden table here. But uh, otherwise, uh, I mean, good luck when you, uh, your kids are trying to play with that. Uh, uh, they're probably going to be a little bit uh, disappointed. Um, I said the price is uh, $79.99 and I would definitely wait until it gets discounted. Uh, it may be possible that they have uh, too many of them uh, after the holiday season. Hopefully my video uh, can also help you with decide on whether to buy this set or not. I'll definitely keep it of course, I will uh, put it on display uh, uh, on my uh, shelf behind me uh, together with the, the uh, Prince doll. This is actually an older model, pre-2015 still with the uh, old head mold. So uh, what else did I want to tell you? Oh yeah, the, the horse's name. Um, 
If you test correctly, it is Mazer. Mazer is Cinderella's horse. The royal steed. Looking really, uh, really cute. Just a little bit cheap in the toy version, but uh, I know the, the, the real Mazer would have been, of course, much more noble and elegant. So, I think this is already it for the review of this set. Um, of course, do take in mind that um, it doesn't really come as advertised, so there's a couple drawbacks. But if you do love um, the Disney Store dolls and their play sets that uh, recreate um, the movie moments, uh, then this set is of course uh, a must-have for you. I actually really like that they create sets that you can use to uh, recreate uh, all these uh, famous classic movie moments. Uh, this is why I really love the Disney Store Girls. And they look uh, really authentic, I have to say. Uh, really movie accurate. So, um, Despite a few uh, criticism points I have about this set, I still want to mention that the Disney Store still does makes the very best, uh, most accurate looking Disney dolls. Uh, it's just too bad they went uh, very cheap uh, with this horse. Uh, I mean, the, the coach is fine, but uh, the horse could definitely use uh, some better uh, animatronics in there and then it would be uh, a perfect set. So, that's it for this episode of Ketwana's Toys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you had a nice uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, a little bit different, of course, uh, this year. Uh, I hope you continue to stay safe through the holidays as well. And I'll see you next weekend already again. Bye!